Hello, Internet. This is Atlas, a 1986 Toyota Sunraider. 4x4 from the factory. And I'll take you through a short walkthrough video. He has a 22RE four cylinder engine with 61,929 miles on it currently. Has a three core champion radiator, TIG welded aluminum, made in the USA. Keeps her cool. Um, every hose, including vacuum lines, has been replaced. All new spark plug wires, spark plugs, all Toyota OEM. Among countless other things that have been been done. This video is shaky. This is a camera phone doing its best. All right, the interior. I replaced the carpet with vinyl. These are the original seats. I believe they once had uh, some fabric stitched onto them from the Sun Raider factory. However, that fabric's gone. The vinyl is in great condition, but some of their stitching has remained, so it looks, look, just kind of looks ratty there, and it is not. There are a couple minor defects in the dash from a previous owner bolting something to it. I have upgraded to a Alpine stereo system. It has turbo vacuum lines, uh, vacuum gauge and engine oil gauge temperature and a transmission oil temperature gauge. Everything else, with the exception of those holes, is in good condition. The inside, all original Toyota glass. I have installed new side view mirrors. All right, a little less pretty stuff. The interior is in disrepair, but still functioning. Everything functions except the furnace would not come on today. Um, it did work in the past. I'm not sure what the issue is. Um, I have resealed all of the windows. Unfortunately, there was some water damage on the back wall, which I have not replaced, but when it took it apart, it fell apart. So I have resealed all the windows uh, properly with butyl tape, and these one inch spacers do the job until I can make a new one, new back piece. Um, let's see. All the factory Toyota tire change goodies. Refrigerator works. Um, it is a two-way. It works both ways, propane or electric. Closet. Here we have 
some goodies. We'll be going with Atlas. Great read. It has an onboard generator that runs. And I have lots and lots of receipts. Let's see if we can get this generator running. There she goes. She runs on the gasoline in the pickup truck gas tank. Which is neat, instead of propane like most do. Uh, as you can see, the wood is built light, built pretty cheap. It has currently on it, I have a small table here, but it does have a larger table that goes all the way across and it would turn this back dinette area into a bed. The water system, I have never put water in. I'm afraid it would leak. I uh, had plans of rebuilding all of this, uh, so I haven't bothered with with any of that but it is all there the water pump does come on you turn the button the stove works great the bed area roughly the size of a full-size bed uh, fortunately those cushions are in still still in good shape like i said all the windows have been resealed so there's no leaks I have painted and coated the cab over full and you can see some a little bit of previous damage, water damage, and why I re resealed all the windows. The bathroom it is a wet bath, it has a separate black water tank gray water tank set up. You take a shower in here. It has what I assume is the factory curtain. The toilet does work. I've only ever peed in it. Um, yeah. I'll do one more walk around. It's the pass through area. I upgraded the factory rearview mirror with a map light off a newer model Toyota pickup. It is matching colors, which was fortunate. Okay, the carpet, as you can tell, has turned green. I believe it used to be brown. This Toyota came from San Francisco, where it probably lived its whole life before I bought it two years ago and started upgrading the suspension and sealing all of the windows first. Okay. Underneath, I have coated it in Rhino Liner. It has an upgraded larger capacity fuel tank from Sun Raider. I believe 26 gallons. On the roof, I coated with an elastomeric roof coating uh, that has adhered really well to the fiberglass. I removed the air conditioner and replaced it with a max air fan for uh, just because I don't use air conditioner. It seemed very top heavy and now it does not. Uh, all new vents have been sealed up nice. And uh, yep, perfect, no holes. Came with the factory option of an awning, which is beautiful, which I'm not going to undo. 
with one hand while I try to video. But you can see them in the pictures I post. Here is her booty box. It is a factory option from Sun Raider. I have installed new hardware to hold her on. And it does this neat little thing to make it easier to get your stuff out. And it's held on by a cable guy wire. Right. And inside, you can have uh, room for a couple chairs, what have you, light stuff. This box is made out of fiberglass. I don't ever put anything in it. It is handy storage. Every light works. All of the marker lights have been upgraded to LED. This is the generator box. This is the furnace. This is the back of the refrigerator. This is the coach battery box. The brand new, well, not even one year old battery. I upgraded the old style shore connection to a marine style. Get waterproof. No critters can get in. Um, not currently installed is the lower air dam, but I do have it. It is in good shape. I had taken it off and I don't currently have it on right now. Bushwhacker fender flares, three inch. And these rear, I custom made out of a uh, second gen Dodge Ram fender flares. Again, three inch. Just covers the tires. Perfect, looks like it, it should have always been that way. Sturdy, uh, little step. All the lights work inside and out. I say that. Little bugger. Yeah. Okay. That's funny. I don't suppose she wants me to make this video. Installed new screws, new trim. Uh, this is the water fill. Here's your water heater. I believe it is a three gallon. Here's the onboard propane. Uh, roughly a third tank. Never had to fill it. And all the lights work. Typical RV bumper with stinky slinky included. Uh, I added some LED backup lights. Again, resealed every single piece. Need to trim some butyl tape off. Uh, city water hookup. There you go. Walk through.